Good morning. Welcome to a week in my life studying abroad at the University of Sydney. So Mondays, we just kind of hit the ground running. I have class from 9 to 5.30, so didn't really get time to start the video, but went downstairs, made lunch after my anthropology class in the morning, and then ran some errands, and then I was off to text and ideas, which we had until 5.30, but we survived Monday. It's been a very busy Monday. <laughs> Just got done with my nine to five thirty. Also like welcome to a week in my life. I need to say that. Okay. I only have two more weeks of classes left. Uh, this is my study abroad semester in Australia at the University of Sydney. I major in film at NYU, but I'm not doing any film classes here. Anyways, basically I have really been needing to meal prep and it's so hard because it's a communal kitchen here. And so every time that I want to make food, I have to lug everything up and down and I have to wash everything right away. So it's really just like a hassle. I have just been really having a hard time figuring out what to make and also I feel like I need a meal prep here more than I did there so I'm going to try and make chili then I can like eat that throughout the week so I have all of my ingredients and we're gonna hope for the best I vacuumed my floor yesterday but it is all on the floor wish me luck Guys, the chili was actually so successful. It was amazing. I'm so happy I tried it. Anyways, after getting through Mondays, I feel like the rest of the week just goes by so much more smoothly. It's definitely the hurdle at the beginning of the week. Tuesdays, I have class again until 5.30, but my morning class is only an hour long. So I went with Emma and Callie and we walked to our first lecture, which is actually my only use SID class. And then we stopped by the NYU office. Happy Tuesday, just got back from my morning class. Feeling so steady core right now. I put my hair back because it's so hot outside. Emma and I went to my UCID lecture, and then after that lecture, every time Emma and I go to see Mark and Stephanie, and Yuri was there today, and then Mark made his coffee. We just sat and chatted for a while, and I got so many Tim Tams. They have like a whole box of them, and then Mark was like, just take Tim Tams. So I I did, I took a lot, they're in my freezer. <laughs> the mall here, apparently like every Tuesday, I think of October, they do free lunch from a different restaurant there for uni students. Haven't gone yet. And then today, Emma and I tried to go, we signed up, it was a ramen place. We walked all the way there, got there, and the line was insane. It was already, it starts at 11. It was already probably like 11.20 at that point. And it's only for the first 200 people. And so we just figured that it would be gone by then. And also like did not need to wait in that line. So came back, she's at the library now. I am now, I took off the skirt and my, Mary Janes are kind of like killing my feet in the heat. So I might just dress down for my next class because I have my other NYU class later today, which is three and a half hours. It's noon. I'm going to try and work and do some readings for this class actually for next week for like an hour and then go down and make lunch. And then we'll be on our way. It's Halloween weekend this weekend and Halloween's not as big here as in the States. So I'm not sure how it's going to be. I'm not doing as big of a costume as I did last year. Last year I was Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas and that was so fun. I do need to get a costume still. I need to lock in. I finished up some reading and notes before my second class of the day, made some lunch, and then for dinner, everyone had some of my chili. Mariah bought chips and made homemade guacamole. And so we just kind of had like little DIY nachos and it was so good. And then I tried to go and do something different. I went to the terrace to try and do some homework, but then as soon as I sat down on this chair, it was like a little bit damp still because it had been raining. So that idea just like gone cheers a did some work in my room and then ended up working on this birthday card that i had been drawing for porter all week put on some youtube and a candle and just kind of grinded it out
good morning this is the outfit today i'm doing my lassen's jeans and then nikes i actually have not worn this once since i've been here also i just threw this headband on for now but like I feel like it looks kind of weird. I actually haven't worn the sweater since I've been here. There are some clothes that I just kind of have like forgotten about that I really need to make an effort to start wearing, you know, when you just get comfortable with certain things and you only rotate those and then you've got like other things that just kind of sit in your closet forever. This was one of them. I thrifted this a long time ago. I think it's Banana Republic and then I just cropped it. This is outfit today. Today is Wednesday, my last day of classes of the week. And I have a another huge paper to start writing today. But first I'm gonna go run to the store really quick, get some oat milk for breakfast because I really want to have like cereal, fruit cereal, and I don't have enough oat milk. And then I'm gonna go, I think, get my nails redone because dude, these, I've had these for over a month. I really let them grow out way too much. We need new ones. <laughs> Probably go to the library. I have my later class from one to two and then I'll go back to the library. So busy working day. It's also late. I kind of slept in a little. I moved really slow this morning. So nice. I got good sleep. You know, when you wake up and you just feel so warm and cozy and like you just slept so well. Yeah, that's how I slept. So <laughs> It was another super go, go, go day. Got my oat milk, ended up getting my nails redone, and then went to the library for a few hours to get some work done. Did a little stroll later with Anna. We walked around and then had dinner. And then we made perfect timing with the sunset and we went and played soccer. There are so many bats here, by the way, which is just like, I'm not used to. So it's kind of crazy seeing them everywhere. Here's this like ridiculous time lapse of us kicking the ball back and forth. then after soccer it was yochi wednesday night again we haven't done a yochi wednesday in a while still so kind of miss her but then i came back to my room watched like anastasia a little bit of it and then worked on this birthday card some more Thursday was super cold and gray actually, so I got changed into this really cozy fit and then Emma, Hazel, Mariah and I went to Soulmate. We were trying it for the first time. Hazel brought us here, she loves it. And so we just had like a cozy morning. I ate breakfast at home so I didn't have to spend as much money but got some coffee. We ended up just talking for a really long time. Then I went back and had to do some work. Just got back from little morning coffee. I literally like pulled out the scarf today. <laughs> it's Thursday now. It was raining this morning and now it's just like so windy and gray and cold. It feels like I'm in the UK or something. We went to Soulmate. Hazel said it's like one of her favorite coffee shops. So Emma, Mariah and I went with her and we just got like coffee this morning and hung out. We were there for like two hours just talking. Walked back and now I need to lock in. Work on this essay. Trying to decide because the weather is so crummy outside and it's so cozy in my room so i'm trying to decide if i go to out a place where people can watch me so i have to work and i can't like scroll on my phone do you know what i mean like you go to cafes kind of feel accountable to do work because people are watching you like Pete, you can't not do work because people will see you slacking it's like the delusion but it works i could go to the library or i could stay in here also i've been working on drawing this birthday card for Porter because <laughs> it's gonna be his 13th birthday soon. I need to get this mailed out so we can make it in time. But I was like, oh, I'll draw this cute little thing. Okay, I don't think Porter will watch this, but if you are, stop watching. Also, if you're his friend, stop watching. Anyways, so I'm like, he loves Figment. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna hand draw it. And I started coloring it and I need to like finish it. And I don't know. And then I need to finish this essay by Monday, but it's also whole weekend. So I need to get my costume, a lot going on. Oh, but I got my nails done yesterday. I ended up doing purple. It's kind of fun. It's actually super Halloween, Halloween vibes. And then tonight I'm gonna go get drinks at like 8.30. I'm gonna go to Uncle Ming's, which is this Japanese cocktail bar in CBD. So I've heard a lot of different people have told me really good things about it. So I'm gonna go try it tonight. So another reason that I need to lock in now starting is just the hardest part sometimes.
week not spending money on coffee. But then obviously this morning went to the cafe and got something. And then I've been in here working on the card and it's just so gloomy out. I thought about going to the library to do work or like sitting somewhere and I, it's a little bit chilly and I was just like, I just wanna get into cozy clothes and work in my bedroom and have a cozy day. So I called my mom, went to one of the campus coffee shops, got an oat ice latte to do work and I paid with cash too. So technically it was free. I'm gonna put my phone on do not disturb and try and get something done with this essay. I'll eventually start getting ready later to go out tonight. So, cheers. <laughs> forgot to vlog but I have these two clips from Uncle Ming's such a cute bar if you're ever around good morning it's finally Friday I slept in a little bit because I didn't go to bed till pretty late last night and then um, popped on a call like literally 30 minutes after I woke up with Santi and talked about his documentary that I'm gonna animate so we were just like figuring out stuff with that then I did like a really short little like workout this morning at breakfast. I'm dressed now and I'm gonna go to the library to work on my essay. Last night I think was the only time this entire week I really wore makeup and I didn't even vlog it so you didn't see. But I had my very last USIG class this week which was so crazy because NYU we still have classes next week but my USIG classes ended and so I didn't realize it was ending this week and then I was just like in my tutorial and she was like, okay, well, won't see you next week. Oh, kind of sad, but also I am ready for a break once I finish my finals. So yeah, I have one more week of classes now and then Tuesday is Halloween and NYU is also having their like Halloween slash like farewell party because some people are going back to the States next week already, which I'm like, oh my God, my like brain trying to comprehend that exactly what it sounds like <laughs> honestly i don't think i'm gonna do makeup again but i will do my clear brow gel i'm gonna be here for about like a month and a half still even after classes just to kind of hang out we'll have to do like an official study abroad reflection recap thing because i feel like it's been such an interesting experience and it's been so different from new york but yeah i feel like this semester has flown by it's definitely been the fastest semester that I've had. And I don't know, it's just weird. Like, I feel like I need to organize my thoughts and then maybe when we get back to California or on my last day here, like just sit and talk. So also if you have any questions about study abroad, technical things, or even just like experience wise, please start commenting them on this video or in the future so that I can start compiling things to talk about. Sometimes I would put on makeup to go do work to like, or even just to like feel better for the day, but I've kind of been loving recently just taking care of myself and not wearing any makeup and it just feels so good i need to put on my jewelry but we're just doing my uniqlo sweater and then these old these are like levi's that i thrifted in high school and i painted the poser logo on and my nikes my zine that i still haven't touched so i need to figure out what i'm doing with that too a lot of stuff to look forward to final look yay <laughs> Did some work again at the library, what's new? And then I finally finished Porter's birthday card. So packaged it, mailed it, and then on and I did some like quick grocery shopping. I stopped by the sushi place, which is by Kohl's and I see it all the time. And I tried this vegetarian box and it was so good. So I had to get that for dinner. And then I came home and put all my groceries away. <laughs> minute costume. Bella gave me her blue sweater because <laughs> I couldn't find the vampire stuff so I need to make little cookie cutouts so I can be a cookie monster. And I'm gonna wear my dog mark. So, so basic. <laughs> Crunch time. It's 11.20. I thought I wasn't gonna go out tonight but I'm going out and I couldn't find like the fangs and the cape for my costume so now I'm being cookie monster because Bella had like a blue sweater and I have my little like mini dress on underneath. 
but I need these cookies really quick. So I need to cut them out, put them on my sweater, and we have to go because we bought tickets for this like Halloween event. Please pray for me that it's busy. I was gonna vlog Halloween weekend, but obviously I didn't plan enough to like make a good vlog. So you're just gonna get this now and then I'm probably only going out like one other night, but I am going surfing in the morning, so also pray for me for that. Good luck. Yeah, this was kind of a chaotic week in my life. It's been super busy. A lot of finals that I still have to work on. I'm gonna end up having a cram day on Sunday because I did not finish that essay, but here's one of my cookies. I am gonna figure these out really quick because I have like eight minutes to cut these out, put these on, and then leave. Here's the final look. May bring a mini, my mini black purse. This also might be the worst Halloween costume I've ever done, lowest effort, but it's gonna have to work. I would usually end the vlog here, but since I'm not gonna do a whole weekend vlog now, I will attempt to vlog tonight and take you along with me. I also changed my lock screen temporarily to Cookie Monster, so if anyone asks what I am, I can just like whip it out and then bam. <laughs> Okay, what? Everything happened right now. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was a lot of urine. I know, woman! Yeah, Lesson is cake. Oh.